So the hymn that I've chosen for today is one of our newer hymns. What is Crying at Jordan? And it was written by Carol Christopher Drake in the 50s for St. Mark's Church in Berkeley, California. It might surprise you to find out that it was first printed in a children's songbook called Sing for Joy, since at least at the start, this particular hymn doesn't come across as being very joyful. It does, however, bring attention to the bright dawning that comes to us at the very end of the Advent season. It also hints at one of the best elements of the Episcopal Church, that we learn to live in that place of mystery, always trying to learn more, but understanding that as much as we know about God, as much as we can learn in our lifetimes, we will still never know all about God while we're alive. And so, keeping that sense of mystery with us, let's take a deep breath. Look at the words of this new hymn. What is the crying at Jordan? Who hears, O oh God, the prophecy? Dark is the season, dark are hearts, and shut the mystery. Who then shall stir in this darkness, prepare for joy in the winter night? Mortal in darkness we lie down. Blind hearted, seeing no light. Lord, give us grace to awake us, to see the branch that begins to bloom. In great humility is hid all heaven in a little room. Now comes the day of salvation. In joy and terror, the word is born. God gives himself into our lives. Oh, let salvation dawn. So my first question for you today, rather a big one. How does it feel to sit in the unknown? The second question is, do you feel John the Baptist's prophecy was heard by those who needed to hear it? And thirdly, how does it feel to be reminded of the humility of Jesus? So I hope you find time today in your busy schedule to contemplate those questions that sort of mill around in your head for a while. But for now, sign off and see you again tomorrow. And until then, take care and God bless.